And the players doing a little talking here before tip-off. It's all in good fun right now. It's great to be with you on this Monday afternoon. Kevin Harlan here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. 2K Sports welcomes you to the NBA. And now a quick check of our starting lineups for both teams. First for Houston, Patrick Beverly out there with Harden. A big game for this young man making his NBA debut. Then it's Trevor Ariza. And it's Anderson in at the fourth shot. And for Los Angeles, Chris Paul is out there with J.J. Reddick. And inside at center, a long 6'11", the sky-scraping big man out of Texas A&M, DeAndre Jordan. Then it's Mbamute, and it's Griffin in at the power forward. You know, for so long, the Clippers were on the bottom rung of the ladder in the West. Almost were a joke in the conference, but... Their fortunes have changed dramatically in the past few years, and now they're a team that's respected and feared. Here's Beverly. It's Harden with the drive. Beverly, from outside the arc, gets it to go. Beverly's got the game going with his first points of the game for the Rockets. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Well, like you said, the Clippers have really flipped the Western Conference upside down over the last few years. And they're right. They have done it with, you know, Steve Style, to, to say the least. You know, they've got now also a very deep team. Well, a 35-17 record against the West was enough to secure them their division and advantage in the first round. You have to remember, too, that they were without some of their big stars last season. So if they can stay healthy and, and really take advantage of what they have, this could be a lot of fun. Harden's shot is good. Well, he's so good at recognizing where the openings are and getting the ball to the rim. First quarter of play, one minute played, and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Just got a little careless on that pass. They should be able to connect on those. The Rockets have gone 2 or 3 here to start out the game. Houston might have made the playoffs in the West last season, guys, but it wasn't because they were beating up on their peers. They were 24 and 28 against the rest of the West. That's why they got the 8 seed. Oriza. And it's Houston with another. You know, he's got a quick trigger from that range when he senses that the defense has backed off. There's 45 seconds left in the first. Just dropped the run. And it's Paul missing. You remember the Rockets last year when they were playing a lot of teams in the West near the end of the regular season. That was when they slipped past Steve out of the sixth seed range down to number eight. Well, of course, the West was really strong last year, Kevin, so it makes sense that you're going to struggle a little bit against all those good teams. But, uh, you know, Houston ended up being the only team in the West to make the playoffs with a sub-500 record against the rest of the conference. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles. Spates checked in for DeAndre Jordan. Pierce comes in for Mba Amuta. Jamal Crawford, he's checked in for J.J. Reddick. And it's Austin Rivers in for Chris Paul. First 130 gone here in the first quarter. Knocked away. Crawford gets a screen from Spates. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That is his first foul of the game. Twenty-three seconds left in the first quarter. Pierce kicks to Rivers. Wide open look. That went off the back eye in and out. And it's Houston's ball. Right now they're nine up and run. And Pierce, here we go. Good. Well, it took a while, but somebody finally got a shot to go. You know, I'm starting to get a little concerned for them. I mean, it hadn't been pretty to this point. Harden left side. With two seconds left. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. It's going to be on Maurice Spates. The Rockets shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Well, you look at last season's numbers, guys. Down below 70% as a team from the line. And those aren't the kind of numbers they can afford to repeat throughout this season. He's always been extremely reliable at the line. And today, no good. And that does it for the first quarter.
Rockets lead by nine. Let's take a quick break now, and then it's on to the second quarter after this. And welcome back. It's been all one-sided so far through the first quarter as our second quarter gets underway. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Rockets, guys. And a good start for this club. I like the way they played together. Really moved the ball and did a nice job offensively. Yeah, excellent ball movement. And it's paid off on the scoreboard, too. Now let's send it to Doris on the sideline. Well, gentlemen, the Clippers upgrading their roster this summer. And new coach Doc Rivers feels the new players put them in great position. He said, quote, they're great fits. They get who they are. They're over themselves. They're just trying to win and do whatever it takes. He added, we want to be the winner. We don't just want to do a lot of winning. They've done that. Guys, the expectation is clearly to contend for an NBA title. Yeah, building chemistry on the court will be their focus. Thanks, Doris. Well, probably the right play defensively. If you can't get the block, send them to the free throw line. Don't give them an easy two. No easy buckets inside. Force free throws and work to keep them out of the lane next time around. Brandon Basses checked in for Los Angeles. Felton comes in for Austin Rivers. And Johnson drops them both. Hey, I think we all knew that the Clippers were good last year, but we really took notice when they rattled off those 17 wins in a row in December. Uh, that was a franchise record, which had previously been 11. And that's when the league really took notice. Now, here is Harden. Six points for him. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Harden's got eight. His presence is very comforting for this team. He's kind of a fallback option for them anytime they need it. And we played through the first uh, minute here in the second. Well, it was the year of the win streak last season with Miami doing what they did and Denver getting hot as well. But you know, Steve, the Clippers had the first lengthy win streak and turned some heads earlier in the season. Yeah, what was that, about 17 games in a row they won? And I thought that kind of established the Clippers in the West, put a little fear in the rest of the conference, and gave L.A. a, a swagger that I thought helped them get through the rest of the season. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Spates comes in for Paul Pierce. And it's Austin Rivers in for Wesley Johnson. Now, here is Harden. Eight points for him. Now the dish to Beverly. Ariza outside. Passes it to Beverly. Houston moving it around. It's Harden with the drive. Gets it to go. Harden's got four points this quarter. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. And a two-for-one opportunity. Yeah, they've got to hurry. Step on the gas here. Rivers kicks to Felton. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Houston leading by six. There's the lob to the hoop. Can't get it to go. Well, you got to love the effort, but probably an ill-advised decision in the end to go for that all year. Yep, that sequence went from pretty to ugly in a hurry. Brought back the finger roll. That's a nice finesse move to pull off with the defense all over. 12 seconds left here in the second. Let's go, Harden outside. This is to a reason. The three. The shot is off. And the first half ends in a close one. Rockets on top, up by four. Well, folks, stay tuned for the halftime show with Damon Bruce for all the highlights from our first half. Now, presented by Sprint. And a fun game going on out in Los Angeles. Thanks for joining us. Houston has the lead against Los Angeles. One look at their field goal percentage says it all. They're scoring at will. James Harden not having any difficulty scoring against the defense of the Clippers. Always a threat to go off in any given game, and he hasn't disappointed. On the Clippers' side of things, they're managing to hang around. And defensively, they've done a good job grabbing rebounds, limiting second chances. Jamal Crawford earning his keep. 
Nothing comes easy. He's done the hard work, and they could pull it out once they get to the second half. Now let's get back over to Kevin Harlan and the rest of our crew as the second half gets underway. The Sprint Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. You know, when you get an influx of talent through the draft like the Rockets did prior to last season, the initial reaction is excitement, but then you think about, man, how are we going to get these guys ready to play NBA basketball? And the Rockets did a nice job by taking it easy and bringing them along slowly. Like that one. Carlos got the opening bucket to start the second half for Los Angeles. Now here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Hey, okay, guys. Well, for Doc Rivers, the former Boston Celtics head coach and now new Los Angeles Clippers head coach, and certainly a top emotional choice for Rivers to move on. His quote saying, I always knew when I took the job with Boston that I would love the Celtics. I knew I would love the tradition I would fall in love with the city and the people in it. Honestly, I get emotional thinking about it. I will cherish every single moment I had in Boston. And guys, hopefully that will return by the Beantown table. The Royce Lip fan passion can cut both ways. Sometimes you have to take the good with the bad. Clippers trail by five. And for the Rockets, you look at how that strategy worked out for them, and it was exactly what they needed. Got off to a quick start last year. And, you know, Steve, toward the end, their rookies were fresh and able to contribute when it mattered most. You know, Kevin, it's hard for fans to see a player get drafted and not immediately see the floor, but a lot of times that's the best route. You know, you give it a player time to adjust and make a moment, and by the end of the season, he can be a, a very effective player. I think uh, plenty of the Rockets' players proved that in the last season. And if you're just joining us, we played over a minute here in the third. Beverly Dish is gone. Feeds it to a reason. He passes to Beverly, and out of bounds as Los Angeles gains possession. Making a long pass like that is always a risky proposition. For the Clippers, Jamal Crawford. He's checked in for Mbaamuta. Austin Rivers comes in for J.J. Reddy. Alex Felton in for Chris Paul. Now here's Rivers. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Houston in the lead. Here's Harden. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the way up. Harden's got four points now in the quarter. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Felton can't get it to go. Now Harden, 14 points for him. Kick it out! Kick it out! And there's in a screen on Crawford. Here's Harden. And it was counted at it gone, but it's off line. And we've reached the end of the third. Rockets lead by four. We'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles. All right, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for Houston. And they continue to run and gun throughout the game, guys. Something else they've done is force a lot of mistakes defensively. And they've been turning those turnovers into points. Another miss by Hogan. Pickers to about four. to Mba Amuta. The feed to Griffin. Pocket six. He dishes it to Jordan. Gets it to go. Jordan's got the first basket as we get going in the fourth for the Clippers. Terrible defense for both teams. Just atrocious. Yeah, it's been awful, Steve. I don't know any other way to say it. And I'm sure both teams will get an earful from their coaches. 
Now, here is Harden. Ariza outside. Back to Harden. We've got 114 left in the fourth. Off his foot. And the official saying it was kicked. J.J. Reddick's checked in for Austin Rivers. Beverly with the pass to Harden. Six to shoot. Pass to Beverly. But Trey rejected by Jordan. Here's Paul. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. Back to Ariza. And the whistle blows in the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Boy, in a close game, especially, those plays really hurt. Fourth quarter still young, just over a minute play. Paul kicks to Griffin. To Taylor. Oh, hammer. And he'll go to the line. Well, they had a foul to give, but they couldn't get it done before that shot attack. Well, and giving up free throws isn't ideal here, Steve. You know that, but at least they got the clock stop. And it's tied up with that one. He's really the guy you want on the strike in that situation. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He's clutch. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Beverly, this is gone. Another miss by Houston. So, guys, it comes down to this. Time, Kevin, for the Stars to shoot. And Reddick gets to Griffin. The fadeaway. Missed! Well, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just cranks the open jumper. And here's a reason. Here's the screen. Here's Harden. Oh, it's and they're headed to overtime. Regulation is ended and we're heading to overtime. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. Overtime just ahead. Jump ball right around the corner. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. And so they have the first opportunity on offense right here as we begin overtime. And there's the whistle. That's going to go on James Harden. And that'll be his third foul so far. Here's Paul. Now the pass to Mbamuta. And he misses the go-ahead basket. I like the defense, guys. Really getting a hand up and challenging shots. Yeah, Steve, lurking on that shot, and that was a tough one. Number 15. It's in! That is a clutch shot if I've ever seen one. Yeah, very gutsy there. What more can you say? He got it done at the best time. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Paul outside. He feeds it to Griffin. to say, pretty remarkable, Steve. At one point, I thought they were done. Now Harden. Harden gets a screen from Anderson. Jumper off the screen. Oh, missed it. It's good! If you battle for the offensive rebound and come up with it, you're guaranteed a high-quality shot on a follow just like you got there. It's a narrow victory for the Rockets, pulling it out for the W. You know, Clark, they couldn't put him away in regulation, but after a superb performance in overtime, they managed to get the job done. Yeah, just an amazing game, but they pulled away at the end. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Holland saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game,
James Harden.